Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to properly use DaVinci Resolve's film LEDs. As you can see here, we have a pretty shot of Hallstatt in Austria. Awesome place, video coming on that soon. On the first note here, we have a CST that takes us from s 3 Cine and s 3 to Rec. 709. Tone mapping is turned to none. Normally, you'd press Alt-S, add a new note and start grading a little bit. A little bit of tweaking, you'd probably add some sh darker shadows, you pull up the lights a little bit to add some contrast. Maybe pull down the highlights a little bit. Now you see we have a very nice image. We can add some saturation to make it pop a little bit more. And we have this image which looks very nice. Now with Alt S we would add another note. And on here we would add a film look. The Finch Resolve comes with a couple of film looks you can choose from. Fujifilm, Kodak. But we'll be going with the Kodak 2383 for now. We'll drag the LUT onto the last note and boom. It looks horrendous. And this is because something that should be more obvious in my opinion in the Finch Resolve is that it's made for Rec. 709. Yes, it is. It's made for Rec. 709. But only for Rec. 709 color space, not the gamma. So the issue here is that if we go to the CST, we should put our gamma to Cineon Film Lock. And instantly you can see it becomes a normal image. Now you'd probably add a little bit more sh uh, darker shadows and a little bit more saturation, but you'd end up with the film look you were looking for. Let me know down in the comments if this fixed your issues with the DaVinci film looks. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know as well. Take care.